Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. I've got a quick one here for you. It's a Utah feature and my message is to you. Service now got a little darker. That's right. One of my favorite things that got introduced in San Diego was the ability to go in dark mode, but it only applied to the next experience. So when you're in workspaces and not in the classic UI. Well, with Utah, they're bringing that to everything else. You can see here, I'm on a list of knowledge articles. Let's go into a knowledge base article and you'll see that even viewing the knowledge base article is also in dark mode. So that's what I mean by ServiceNow has gotten a little darker. Let's take a look at something else. Let's go to incidents list. Here again, you can see incidents are um, in dark mode. I've got 184 of them. Let me go ahead and narrow this down to the IT securities group. We'll show matching on that. We've only got two in there and I'll just right click the state and we'll do this as a visual task board. Visual task boards are another feature that got dark mode support within Utah. So my visual task board, and I actually had not clicked on this until recording the video, um, should have dark mode and it's retrieving the board definition there and we should see what a visual task board looks like. Um, so that's not very dark mode, uh, that's interesting. Um, but uh, that is a, Visual task board, let's open it up. Um, yeah, this is not feeling very dark mode, so I think my, my documentation here that uh, visual task boards were updated. They are. Okay, well this is just weird. I'm glad you're seeing this with me. This is the first time I saw it. Um, so I've got dark mode when I look at a card in a visual task board. Let's see if there's a preference here for enabling dark mode. Um, you can kind of see that behind my head. Advanced settings, nothing there. Go back here, a quick panel, usernames, labels, compact cards, and let's take a look at the info. Okay, there's nothing there for dark mode. Um, I just changed that user preference, so let me go ahead and hit refresh on my entire session, see if that affects the behavior of the visual task board. If it doesn't, yep, we still got the same thing. I got white cards on a gray background, but when I click on them, I get dark mode. So I guess technically it's there, but really this is the other UI just coming through on this particular interface. But let's take a look at some other stuff. Dashboards, oh yeah. So the dashboard overview screen, it's supporting dark model now or dark mode now. If I go ahead and open the ITIL dashboard on my demo instance that has some stuff in here, you can see the widgets themselves are in dark mode. Background is still um, something else. And let's just see, use custom background color. So maybe we turn that off. Okay, there we go. Now we got full dark mode on this particular one showing there. Let's go to the next one, Analytics Hub. If you're using performance analytics, you'll see that this hub is again another list view and it is supporting dark mode when it pulls up here, it's loading. I've got a bunch of PA indicators, so who knows what's coming up there, but let's open up um, number of risk events, uh, widget or um, indicator, and you can see, yeah, there's my graphic on dark mode and the graphs and everything. I can show the records. That's gonna show like a list in dark mode, so that's pretty cool there. Um, let's take a look at, oh, this was cool, the reporting module. Man, I swear nothing's changed in this reporting module since I started using ServiceNow. Um, other than I think the icons got a facelift in San Diego, but in Utah, we got dark mode support, so there you can see all the reports in here are showing up in dark mode, and if I open the report editor, um, it's going to show in dark mode as well. And that makes sense because on the dashboard, we saw the widgets that were in dark mode and you create those here in the reporting module. So all that kind of connects in my head um, that it would do that. But there you can see dark mode supported in this space here. Um, last one here on my list is the service catalog. Now I don't know about you, but I'm not a big user of the service catalog in this way. Um, but this is a self-service service catalog showing here where you can go in and start interacting with the catalog in dark mode. Um, to look at everything you need. So that is the new darker service now. We still have the um, workspace dark mode that we've always had. And this is for me making this a little bit more like a truer dark mode that is now spreading across the entire platform and not just the newer parts of the platform. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in the new Utah features. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.